This question is a primary example of digits versus decimals. Once you get to a certain point, you can basically just throw the decimals out the window and use only the digits to calculate. So let's get started and we'll see exactly when that point arrives and where you can cut the arithmetic loose basically completely. When positive integer x is divided by positive integer y, the remainder is 9. If x over y is 96.12, what is the value of y? The first step that I'm going to take here is I'm just going to say, all right, well, given what's written here, we know that x divided by y gives remainder 9. So x over y gives remainder 9. Notice that I'm doing this long division. You pretty much always want to write these out as long division. Notice we're not given a quotient, and I've only read the first sentence. That, of course, is equal to x over y, but remember, that, of course, is equal to x over y, remember, long division, is 96.12. Okay, so these two things are equivalent. And then what's the value of y? An easy way to do this would be to think about, okay, what's a simple case? So these numbers relate analogously to the x and the y. So we'll say... So I'm just going to think about a simple case where I know what the remainder is. If I take 15, I divide by 2, I 7 remainder 1. Okay, so that is the x, the y, the remainder, and the quotient. If I take the same number, 15 over 2, obviously I get 7.5. Now, notice that the quotient's the same here, 7 and 7, so that would tell me that that's going to be 96. It should be the same quotient. And then it might be easy as well if we do 7 and 1 half here. So what I'll do is then quotient and look at this fraction. That 1 half is the same as the 0.5, but you also see the 1 here, here, and the 2 here, and here. So that is remainder, and that is divisor. Okay? So what we could do is we could, we could just as easily write this as 96 and remainder 9 over divisor y. So notice what I've done is the, the 15 and the 2, they have nothing to do directly with the 96 and the 9 and all this stuff. I'm just looking at a simple arithmetic case that has an analogous structure. So what we know is that the remainder over the divisor, 1 over 2, is equal to the 0 0.5. So we can say the 9 over y, of course, is equal to the 0 0.12. So we know at this point 9 over y is equal to 0 0.12, and we can follow that along. The thing that you want to memorize, if you really want to memorize things, is that remainder over divisor equals the decimal value. Now we get into the place where we can throw out the arithmetic. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip this around, and that's 9 over 0 0.12 equals y. And looking at this, I'm just going to say, all right, well, look, 9 over 12 gives me 3 over 4, right? What's the decimal value of 3 over 4? That's 0 0.75. So that tells me the answer has to be B, because the only other thing that I'm going to be dealing with is this part, which is a decimal, which means that I'm only going to be multiplying or dividing by a power of 10. All the digits are dealt with in the 9 over 12. So whatever that reduces to, that fraction is going to have the same decimal digits as my answer choice. So there's no reason to bother with any calculation beyond looking at the 9 over 12, recognizing it as 3 over 4, and then jumping to the decimal 75.